the easiest thing on this vehicle is to replace these brakes. Okay, I'm gonna take you step by step. This is a 14 millimeter socket here. Look how easy this is. I'm telling you. I love Toyotas and Hondas because they're they're just so boom. They're so easy to work on. You're done. Your brakes pop them out and pop them back in. You don't even have to replace these little little uh, pins right here. Okay, watch this. Come on, boom. Set them down like that. The back one. <clears throat> Set them down like that because you're going to copy them. You're going to put these pins in your new brakes. All right, they're easy to do. Just kind of follow the, follow the steps. And then see this little metal thing, this metal plate? Take this metal plate out and place it on here. It might not fit tight, that's okay. This keeps your brakes from squeaking. All right, so this, this, right here. That's it, and then put them back in there. That's how easy this is. I can do this in about five minutes. I know it sounds crazy, but about five minutes, literally, watch. Boom, right? Then take the pin out. I gotta put my gloves on. Sorry guys, I'll be back. Now what I like doing is I like using a little bit of grease so I don't hear that squeaking and cracking and ticking and all kinds of little noises. So what I do is I put a little bit of brake grease over here, just a little, right? Boom. And kind of spread it around. Same thing over here. Bang. That's it. Place them back on there. You can put some over here too, cause it's gonna make noise. You don't want it to make noise. I hate when it makes noise. <laughs> and put them back in there. So I was being cheap. Um, usually when you buy your brake pads, you get all new hardware, okay? I'm not replacing my hardware, right? I'm using the same hardware. And when I tried putting this on, it was a little tight, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of going here and just kind of making a little more room here. All right? I don't need all this room. And then boom. Come on, baby. Y'all can do it. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Boom. Now what you're doing, quite simple. See, you're almost done. You were freaking out. Just do it. Don't be scared. Just do it. Don't flip out. Don't be scared. You know. It ain't gonna kill you. It ain't hard. Boom. See that? Real easy. Okay. You gotta get your hands dirty. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. Now, the final step is to push this caliper back in. You wanna get it flush. Basically, what this does is push your brakes. Every time you step on a brake, this comes out and pushes, squeezes your brakes. So in order to get this caliper back on there, you wanna push that in. And I'm using a C-clamp. You can use your hand if you can, or, or I don't know, pliers or something. Just be careful, push it back in flush. In flush, you're done. Now put them back on there, you're done. Boom. We can definitely do this. Boom. <laughs> you see that? Took me like 10 minutes to get these brakes done. Booyaka shot. That's what I'm talking about.